All right, today we're gonna do a chain and sprocket change on this big 20 inch jet planer to slow down the feed rate. Originally, this machine comes with either a 24 or a 31 foot per minute feed rate. It's got a two speed gearbox in it and those are your choices. And if that works for you, that's fine. I happen to plane a lot of tricky quarter sawn white oak. And even with a helical head, I am noticing some tear out, particularly in wider panels. To solve that problem, there's really nothing we can do about the motor speed, which is a 5,000 RPM in this case, but we can decrease the feed rate by doing this sprocket and chain swap. So stick around, we'll show you how. Welcome to Sprockets, I'm your host, Dito. A quick warning if you're using a planer with a two-speed gearbox, only adjust the gearbox when the machine is running. It may be somewhat counterintuitive if you're new to large machines, but hey, it's true of even some benchtop planers with two-speed gearboxes. You only adjust the gearbox when the machine is running. Let's start by just demonstrating the feed rate as it comes from the factory. So we'll run a couple boards through to demonstrate the 24 and the 31 foot per minute feed rate. And then we'll pull the cover on that gearbox and show you how to replace the chain and sprocket so you can decrease your feed rate to 16 on the slow end and a maximum feed rate of 20 feet per minute. That should effectively give us more cuts per inch and decrease the chance of tear out on those wide panels. Be sure to unplug the machine before you get started. First just remove the hand wheel with a 19 millimeter socket and keep an eye for the woodruff key when you pull that out. Now this is the part where people skip ahead and they get frustrated when they try to take the gear cover off. Before you take the gear cover off, you have to first remove two 10 millimeter bolts on either side that secure a bracket on the lower end. One on this side and one on the far side. Kind of a silly design to put those back there, but those are the brackets you have to remove before you can get the gearbox cover off. And the gearbox cover comes off with a single six millimeter socket head screw. Here's something I don't recommend you do at home. I'm going to turn the machine on and show you a quick gear change. See what that looks like. But again, don't do this at home. Those safety covers are there for a reason. So just another reminder to have your machine unplugged anytime you work on it, but this is the lower sprocket that we're going to replace along with the lower chain to gear down the machine. If you remove the spring from the upper tensioner, it makes things a little bit easier on yourself. Loosen up this 14 millimeter bolt on the idler pulley. Just rotate it up and out of your way and just gently tighten that up. And then use a five millimeter Allen wrench to loosen up the lower idler pulley and swing that out of the way. Then remove these three 10 millimeter bolts securing the sprockets. And pull those out along with the washers. And see if you can remove the chains and sprocket as one unit. Okay, the lower one's off. Just grab those other two sprockets off of there. So here's what the assembly looks like once it's up on the bench. This is the original 18 tooth lower sprocket and 52 pin lower chain. We're going to be replacing those with a 12 tooth lower sprocket and a 50 pin lower chain. And that's what will give us the effective speed reduction. And that's what the new arrangement will look like once it's installed on the planer. And we'll see how willing this is to go back in the same orientation. There we go. So these two larger sprockets are aligned by their original Woodruff keys. 
This new sprocket actually came with an integral key and so I wound up with one extra and that's, that's why the new sprocket actually comes with a key installed. And so that guarantees your alignment between the in-feed and the out-feed rollers and this lower drive gear. So we'll go ahead and reinstall those three 10 millimeter bolts. And just see if you have any luck hooking that spring back up around that tab. That'll reset the upper idler tension, so just reset that 14 millimeter bolt. Swing the lower idler into place and reset that Allen bolt. and then just replace the retaining brackets the same way they came off. Now's the time on sprockets, then we dodge. So far so good, I haven't seen any tear out at all on the figured lumber I've run through the planer since the gear reduction. I'll keep you posted when I get a chance to put some wide panels through. All right guys, hopefully my little experiment with a gear reduction on this planer will give you some insight as to whether you might want to make that swap yourself. And if you're running a 15 or 20 inch jet or Powermatic planer, it's likely that you'll just be able to make an easy swap with direct factory parts. Do remember to subscribe to the channel and if you want to get the update I plan on posting on how well this mod worked, go ahead and hit that bell notification button. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one.